Welcome back. Today we're going to be learning about the respiratory system and to assist me I have Quinn Hi. and Chris here to do some excellent breathing because they're both very good at it. So Chris and Quinn have been sitting here for a couple of minutes letting their respiratory rate slow down. Quinn was playing video games in the basement and Chris was outside I don't know doing what. What were you doing? Yard work. Moving pots and flowers around. Moving pots and flowers around. Okay, so Chris definitely needed a few minutes to let his respiratory rate come back to normal. Quinn, maybe not so much. But what we're going to do is we're going to measure two different types of breathing today. So as you should already know because you've read the course pack, tidal volume is the volume of air that you breathe in and out just normally. So as you're sitting there listening to me, you're breathing in and out tidal volume air. And the average tidal volume is about 500 milliliters. We're not gonna be measuring that today because that's too small of an amount to measure on our spirometer. If you can hold that up, that's the spirometer. Show us the dial part. There we go. So we're not gonna be measuring that today, but we're gonna be measuring two other measurements one is called expiratory reserve volume, and one is going to be vital capacity. So our two subjects are somewhat different. They both are male, but Quinn is a couple weeks shy of his 15th birthday, and Chris is not that young. <laughs> Chris is over 50. And if I have them both stand up, have them stand up, you can see there's quite a big difference in how tall they are. There's also, turn sideways, oh, <laughs> a little bit of difference in how physically fit they are and how much physical activity they do. Okay, go ahead and sit down. All right, so we're gonna start with Quinn. So Quinn, yeah. <laughs> we are going to measure the expiratory reserve volume. And so what that is, is imagine that you're breathing in and out. There's just gently, not big breaths, just normal in and out and in and out, like the tide, right? That's called the tidal volume. Now, if you go to the bottom of that tidal volume, but then continue to forcefully push the breath out, that's the expiratory reserve volume, okay? So do you understand what I mean by that? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you do tidal breathing for just a few breaths, and then you're gonna put the spirometer up to your lips, that plasticky part, and you're going to blow, but you're gonna blow as hard as you can all the way out. And in order to really get a good reading, sometimes you actually have to like bend over and compress your abdominals to okay. really force that diaphragm up, squish the lungs, increase that pressure in there and cause the air to come out. Okay, so we're gonna do that three times. Each time you do it, I'm gonna take a picture of where the uh, measurement gets to on there. So then we'll reset it and you'll do it again. So first time, are you ready? Okay. Hard, 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 hard. Bend over, bend over, there you go. All right, so turn it so it's zeros at the bottom. So it looks like we got to about one, 1 1.8 liters. Okay, we're back with Quinn. We have reset the, set the spirometer and we're ready for him to do his second trial of expiratory reserve volume. Whenever you're ready. My son passes out. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the measurement. Ooh, even bigger this time. This time it looks like, oh no, wait, about the same. 1. 1. 1.6 liters. And here's trial number three, expiratory reserve volume. Okay? Yeah. Let's get a measurement. I think I'm taking a photo. And 
and that one was 1.6, so really nice, good job. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, go ahead and reset it. Okay, so we are now done with our three trials of expiratory reserve volume, or ERV, and now we're going to be um, measuring our vital capacity. And remember, vital capacity is pretty much you take your entire inspiratory reserve volume, your tidal volume, and your expiratory reserve volume. So it's really the whole thing. It's almost your total lung capacity, except we really can't get rid of that reserve uh, volume, the residual volume. So it's everything but the residual volume. So when you're breathing, you're doing your normal tidal volume in and out, and then you're gonna take the biggest breath in you possibly can take in, and then you're gonna blow it out as far as you can blow it out. So this number should be way bigger than that expiratory reserve because we're taking a big breath beforehand. So whenever you're ready, and then take that big, 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 big breath, and then blow, as hard as you can. Let's see if that number is bigger. Yeah, way bigger. Look at that. So, 3.7 liters. Okay, go ahead, reset. We'll do trial number two. Trial number two, vital capacity, whenever you're ready. <laughs> How you feeling? Yeah. Sometimes my students get dizzy. All right, so that one was 3.8 liters. Trial number three, vital capacity. The spirometer's been reset and we're ready to go whenever you are. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, good. Oh, that was the biggest one yet. So that was four liters. Okay, so here's Chris, and we're going to do trial number one. Uh, take two. We're going to do trial number one for ex, um, expiratory reserve volume. So we're going to do our normal tidal breathing. And at the bottom of normal breathing, so you're not actually making an effort to breathe out, you're just letting go, okay. then you're going to push out. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. There we go. Okay, so this time we have about 1.3 liters. Trial two, expiratory reserve volume. <sighs> Pretty much the same, 1.3. Go ahead and reset okay. that. We'll do our third trial. And don't forget everybody, you're going to be averaging these numbers together. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> that looks like about 1.0 liters. Okay, so now Chris has had a few minutes to relax and bring his breathing back to normal. And we're going to do <clears throat> vital capacity. And remember, vital capacity is you take a, the biggest breath in that you possibly can and s put the spirometer in your mouth and then blow out as much and as hard as you possibly can. You might want to bend over and crunch your stomach muscles because remember, when your stomach muscles tighten, it pushes the abdominal contents up against and underneath the diaphragm, pushing the diaphragm up, um, squishing the lungs, raising the pressure in the lungs, which forces air out. Okay.
like the way he like shakes himself. All right, how'd we do? Holy cow. Did you reset this? <clears throat> yep. Wow, 6.6. .6. I have to say that is the largest vital capacity I've ever seen. You're very vital. Okay, go ahead and reset. I had the highest vital capacity in AP Bio in high school of the entire school. Okay. So, so not clearly, surprised. clearly you're still doing Let's fine. Let's see if I can peg it out. <laughs> no, don't peg it out. Should be able to. It's only half more. <laughs> the challenge is, is on. Okay. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> oh my gosh. So six point, I would say that's six point eight. <sighs> Come on, liters. I can do that. I can beat seven. Right, go ahead and reset it. Trial three, vital capacity for Chris. Beat the seven. All right, so trial three <sighs> looks like 6.6 .6 liters. All right, so thank you so much to Chris and to Quinn for helping me out, and um, we will see you again sometime yep. in class. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>